Hi friends, today I'll walk you through the basics of an automation tool called Vagrant and show you how easy you can apply it to save hours or even days work to provision and manage virtual machines. Vagrant is a tool for automating the installation and managing virtual machines to save time. Out of the box, Vagrant is supported by VirtualBox, VMware, Docker, Hyper-V and some other providers. As I have covered VirtualBox in previous videos, I'll use that option. But feel free to choose other providers. So who should use Vagrant? Developers can use Vagrant to isolate dependencies in an environment. Simply create a Vagrant file for your purpose and share it with your team. Then everyone can work from the same development environment with the same configuration. Whether you are working on Linux, macOS or Windows, all your team members are running code in the same environment against the same dependencies. System or operations engineers can use Vagrant as a disposable environment for creating and testing management scripts like shell scripts and puppet modules and then use the same configuration on a remote cloud. Web designers can use Vagrant to automatically set everything up that is required for their web app. Anyone using virtualization can use Vagrant to automate the installation and configuration of virtual machines, which makes testing and de deploying a lot faster. Provisioning databases or web servers could be done in a few minutes instead of hours. Vagrant has three important components. The CLI command line interface, Vagrant files, and Vagrant cloud. The CLI is used to start and stop VMs, initiate new VMs, and manage running VMs. Vagrant files are used to define the VMs. These are written in the Ruby language and are ex executed by the Vagrant CLI to run the VMs. The Vagrant files are fairly easy to read because they contain mostly statements. Vagrant Cloud is an online marketplace for virtual machines where you can find and download VMs but also share your own VM. You could also choose to share a VM only within your company. In terms of pricing, you can easily start using Vagrant for free by using public boxes. If later you decide to make use of private boxes or collaborate within a team inside your organization, then you'll need to get a paid account. In order to install Vagrant, go to the following link and select your system. I'm using a Mac and will be using Homebrew to install Vagrant. If you don't have Homebrew, you can install it with this command on Mac, also in the description. Next, we'll choose one of the public boxes on Vagrant Cloud. There are boxes which contain well-known operating systems, as well as specialized boxes to get you up and running quickly with Ruby or Python. In Vagrant Cloud, select a provider, in my case, that's VirtualBox, and then select the box you want to use, for example, Ubuntu. When selecting a box, make sure to check what type of box and version it is. I'll be using Ubuntu version 16.04 as a workstation and not a server. Sorting by amount of downloads provides a most used list. You can either copy the content of the Vagrant file or the command you need to create the file. Let's use the second option and copy the command. Then create a local directory on your computer where we can add the Vagrant file. After that, run the Vagrant command for initializing the box to create the Vagrant file. Next, start the virtual machine by entering Vagrant up. If this is the first time you're running this box, Vagrant will need to download the complete box and depending on your connection speed, it could take some time. In my case, the download process took about 30 seconds and then the VM with guest additions was installed within a minute. Now your VM or Vagrant box is up and running. You can check the status with Vagrant 
status. And if you have multiple vagrant boxes, you can try vagrant global status. If you open a virtual box, then you can see the newly added VM, but don't manage your VM from within VirtualBox. Instead, use Vagrant command line interface. Use VirtualBox only for the VMs you have created inside VirtualBox. Next, you can use SSH to connect to your VM. If you have multiple VMs running, then you'll need to enter the name of the VM you want to connect to. Otherwise, you'll connect to the default box. After you SSH to the VM, you have access to the terminal. Enter exit to exit out of the VM. And if you want to shut down the VM, enter Vagrant Halt. In order to completely delete the VM, enter Vagrant Destroy. To recap, Vagrant Initialize, Vagrant Up, Vagrant SSH. If you want to see a more in-depth video about using Vagrant, leave a comment. See you in the next video.